Hello students, welcome to our channel of Chemistry Made Simple by Simple Rajendra Shukla. Dear students, the question which we are discussing today is basically focusing on as to how to find the difference in potential in volts when the Gibbs energy is known to you and the equation for which you are supposed to calculate the potential difference is known. The question which comes right in front of you on the screen is the Gibbs energy for the decomposition of aluminum oxide at 500 degrees centigrade is as follows. The equation given to us is 2 by 3 Al2O3 gives 4 by 3 Al plus O2 and you see the change in Gibbs energy for the reaction is plus 960 kilojoule per mole. Now they want us to find the potential difference needed for the electrolytic reduction of aluminum oxide at 500 degrees centigrade. And we need to calculate that. Now, the very first thing which I am assuming here, you should be knowing is the relation between change in Gibbs energy is equal to product of moles of electron into the Faraday charge into the E cell. And they are inverse of each other, so I'm placing a negative sign. That is, we say delta G is equal to minus NF E cell. Since it is 500 degrees centigrade, which is not the standard condition because its standard condition is 298 Kelvin, that is 25 degrees centigrade. That is why we are not taking here delta G naught and we are not taking here E naught. So the equation we are using is delta G is equal to minus NFE cell. And I'm assuming you all know this equation over here. Now, the most important thing, and I can say, quite difficult over here to find is nothing but the number of electrons. So I'm just picking up this equation to calculate this N. This, this is the most important thing I need to know that is number of electron. N is nothing but the number of electrons involved in the reaction. So that is what I'll just tell you how to calculate. Let us see. Now I pick up this equation, students, this, this equation I'm picking up, it is two by three Al to O3 is giving us four by three aluminum plus a molecule of oxygen. Now we know Aluminium over here, aluminium over here, this is plus three. And there are two aluminium, so that becomes plus six total. Oxygen over here is minus two. You know oxidation number of oxygen. And so three oxygens become minus six. Aluminium over here is zero and here oxygen is zero since they are in their atomic and molecular state respectively. Now, the conversion over here is two by three into, you see here, two Al. That becomes nothing but four by three Al plus three, of course, we're taking the charge over here, plus three, which becomes four by three aluminum and over here that's zero. So children, the number of electrons involved which we need to calculate is, see here, this three electrons. Now over here, I am gaining to make the net charge zero. That is to, to reduce this plus three mole proton, I need three mole electrons. So here I'm adding three mole of electron. 
but it's not entire three mole electron which I am using because I'm just using four third part of it. So basically I am using four third part of three electrons which becomes four electrons which I am using as this gets cancelled. So I got the value of N. N over here becomes, uh, just write in, N over here becomes four electrons. I hope you understood how I calculated. Once again, I'm telling you students how I calculated because that is the most important thing here. See, another way to look at it is, I know another way to look at it is, I know that the reduction of aluminium is, see this is the reduction of aluminium, Al plus three plus three electrons gives Al. Another way to look at that thing. So we use three mole of electron for one aluminium. So if for one aluminium ion, if for one aluminium ion, just a minute, um, okay. Now, if for one aluminium ion, we are making use of one, yeah, now here, one aluminium ion, we are making use of three mole electron, then obviously, four third of aluminium ion, which you got from here, four third aluminium ion, corresponds to four third into three, that becomes four electrons. So that's the way to calculate the number of electrons. I hope this is clear to you, clear to everybody. Another way to look at it is the six, the six, the six is getting reduced to O2. Now it is two third of six, huh? See, I'll just write here. This is, this is, this is another way, huh? another way. This is one of the pattern, another way. Two third, I'm not writing oxygen or ozone or anything now. I'm just writing two third of these six charge. So again, that becomes four electrons. So that's another way to calculate it. And hence, this equation which we used for delta G becomes, I'm just substituting, I want to find E cell. So I get E cell is equal to delta G upon N into Faraday with a negative sign. Therefore, students, E cell is equal to minus, I substitute the value of this, which is 960. Oh, look at the unit kilojoule. And this is in Coulomb, so I just convert it to joule into 10 raised to three. So I converted it to joule upon number of electrons are four into Faraday is 96500 Coulomb. Now, when you calculate it, my dear students, you will be getting E cell is equal to 2.48 volt and a negative sign. And hence, it is very clear that this reaction is a non-spontaneous reaction because delta G is positive and E cell is negative. So it is a non-spontaneous redox chemical reaction that we are talking about an electrolytic cell. That's all for today's students in this video. Bye-bye, take care and love and blessings to all of you over there.